The following is an audio recording of one of my favorite suttas, the Kagavisana Sutta, translated as a rhinoceros by Thanissaro Bhikkhu. The narrator is Jennifer Hawkins of the Secular Buddhist Association, secularbuddhism.org. A note from the narrator. One thing of particular note about this sutta is that there's a bit of Pali that may be translated as either a rhinoceros or a rhinoceros horn. Technically speaking, a rhinoceros is probably the more accurate translation, and indeed that's the one that Venerable Thanissaro Bhikkhu goes with. However, this sutta is also of a certain poetic or lyrical quality, and in English the extra syllable added by horn simply makes the thing sound better. So the narrator has decided to go ahead and just add horn after rhinoceros for the sake of lyrical quality. However, it should be noted by those who are listening that the official translation at accesstoinsight.org uses simply rhinoceros. Renouncing violence for all living beings, harming not even a one, you would not wish for offspring, so have a companion. Wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. For a sociable person there are allurements. On the heels of allurement, this pain. Seeing allurements draw back, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. One whose mind is enmeshed in sympathy for friends and companions neglects the true goal. Seeing this danger in intimacy, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Like spreading bamboo entwined is concerned for offspring and spouses. Like a bamboo sprout unentangled, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. As a deer in the wilds, unfettered, goes for forage wherever it wants, the wise person, valuing freedom, wanders alone like a rhinoceros horn. In the midst of companions, when staying at home, when going out wandering, you are prey to requests, valuing the freedom, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. There is sporting and love in the midst of companions, an abundant fondness for offspring, feeling disgust at the prospect of parting from those who'd be dear, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Without resistance in all four directions, content with whatever you get, enduring troubles with no dismay, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. They are hard to please, some of those gone forth, as well as those li living the household life, shedding concern for these offspring of others, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Cutting off the householder's marks, like a covilara tree that has shed its leaves, the prudent one, cutting all household ties, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. If you gain a mature companion, a fellow traveler, right living and wise, overcoming all dangers, go with him, gratified, mindful. If you don't gain a mature companion, a fellow traveler, right living and wise, wander alone, like a king renouncing his kingdom, like the elephant and the Matanga wilds, his herd. We praise companionship, yes, those on a par or better should be chosen as friends. If they're not to be found, living faultlessly, wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn. Seeing radiant bracelets of gold, well made by a smith, clinking, clashing, two on an arm, wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn, thinking, in the same way, if I were to live with another, there would be careless talk or abusive. Seeing this future danger, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Because sensual pleasures, elegant, honeyed, and charming, bewitch the mind with their manifold forms. Seeing this drawback in sensual strands, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Calamity, tumor, misfortune, disease, an arrow, a danger for me. Seeing this danger in sensual strands, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Cold and heat, hunger and thirst, wind and sun, horseflies and snakes, enduring all these without exception, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. As a great white elephant with massive shoulders, renouncing his herd, lives in the wilds wherever he wants, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. There's no way that one delighting in company can touch even momentary release, heeding the solar kinsman's words, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Transcending the contortion of views, the sure way attained, the path gained, realizing, 
unled by others, I have knowledge arisen, wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn, with no greed, no deceit, no thirst, no hypocrisy, delusion and blemishes blown away, with no inclination for all the world, every world, wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn. Avoid the evil companion, disregarding the goal, intent on the out-of-tune way. Don't take as a friend someone heedless and hankering. Wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn. Consort with one who is learned, who maintains the Dhamma, a great and quick-witted friend. Knowing the meanings, subdue your perplexity, then wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn. Free from longing, finding no pleasure in the world's sport, love or sensual pleasures, abstain from, um, from adornment, speaking the truth, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Abandoning offspring, spouse, father, mother, riches, grain, relatives, and sensual pleasures altogether, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. This is a bondage, a baited hook. There's little happiness here, next to no satisfaction, all the more suffering and pain. Knowing this, circumspect, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Shattering fetters like a fish in the water tearing a net, like a fire not coming back to what's burnt, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Eyes downcast, not foot loose, senses guarded, with protected mind, not oozing, not burning with lust, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Taking off the householder's marks, like a coral tree that has shed its leaves, going forth in the ochre robe, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Showing no greed for flavors, not careless, going from house to house for alms, with mine unenmeshed in this family or that, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Abandoning barriers to awareness, expelling all defilements, all, non-dependent, cutting aversion, allurement, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Turning your back on pleasure and pain, as earlier with sorrow and joy, attaining pure equanimity, tranquility, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. With persistence aroused for the highest goal's attainment, with mind unsmeared, not lazy in action, firm in effort with steadfastness and strength arisen, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. Not neglecting seclusion, absorption, constantly living in the Dhamma, in line with the Dhamma, comprehending the danger in states of becoming, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn, intent on the ending of craving and heedful, learned, mindful, not muddled, certain, having reckoned the Dhamma and striving, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn, unstartled, like a lion at sounds, unsnared, like the wind in the net, Unsmeared, like a lotus in water, wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn. Like a lion, forceful, strong in fang, living as a conqueror, the king of beasts, resort to a solitary dwelling, wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn. At the right time, consorting with the release through goodwill, compassion, appreciation, equanimity, unobstructed by all the world, any world, wander alone, like a rhinoceros horn. Having let go of passion, aversion, delusion, having shattered the fetters, undisturbed at the end of life, wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. People follow and associate for a motive. Friends without a motive these days are rare. They're shrewd for their own ends and impure. Wander alone like a rhinoceros horn. This has been an audio recording of the Kagavasana Sutta, translated as A Rhinoceros by Thanissaro Bhikkhu. The narrator was Jennifer Hawkins, director for the Secular Buddhist Association, secularbuddhism.org.